Let us look at a problem in relation to the rational numbers. Now, in this equation, I have been given an addition problem. This problem relates to addition. So there are four fractions, one, two, three, four, that needs to be solved. Okay? Now, one way can be that I take an LCM, or the least common multiple, of all these four fractions, and then start solving them. Okay? So if I go for the LCM of this four numbers, I get 3 into 11 into 2 into 4, which is 264. Okay? Now what I notice is that if I put 264 as an LCM over here and start doing these calculations, this becomes pretty tedious. Because every time I have to kind of multiply these numbers so many number of times. So I think, is there some easier way of doing this? Well, while I was doing this calculation for least common multiple, what I realized that was that 4 went into this and this. And 11 is a multiple of this and this number. So can I regroup these numbers? And if you recall, I told you that rational numbers are the sum of the rational numbers do not change if their order is changed. So, if I write this phrase as 6 by 11 plus 4 by 33, this and this, plus minus 3 by 4 plus 5 by 8, this should not alter the results. But what it alters for me is that now I have to deal with these two numbers, 11 and 33, and I know that their LCM is 33. Look here, 11, 33. So I do by 11, 1, 3, 3. So 3 into 11 gives me 33. Now 33 goes into 11 three times. 3 multiplied by 6 gives me 18. Plus 33 goes into 33 one time. 1 into 4 gives me 4. Plus 4, 8, again the LCM is 8. 8 goes into 4 2 times. 2 into minus 3 gives me minus 6. Plus 8 goes into 8 1 time, so 5. Now 18 by 4 gives me 22 divided by 33. Plus minus 6 plus 5 gives me minus 1 divided by 8. Well, 22 is divisible by 11 which gives me 2, this gives me 3. Or my equation becomes 2 upon 3 minus 1 upon 8. Now, at this stage, if I take the LCM of these two numbers, it becomes 24, which is much more easier vis-a-vis -vis 264. 24 goes into 3 8 times. 8 into 2 gives me 16. 24 goes into 8 3 times. 3 into 1 gives me 3, so minus 3. Or 13 by 24 is the answer. So what I did was that by using the property of rational numbers, which means that the rational numbers are associative over addition, I just regrouped these numbers and made my calculations very easy. And then this problem could have been solved the other way around also, but that would have been pretty tedious. Imagine you're multiplying 264 by 11 and then doing all these calculations.